Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to set up annual leave loading in Myob. Now, I made a video previously going through the details of how to process annual leave and also sick leave in Myob before. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link up above so you can go have a look at that. But in that video, I didn't cover how to do leave loading, so that's what we're looking at now. So the first thing you have to do, you have to go to the card file, card list. And what we need to do is we need to set up annual leave loading as a pay category in the employee card file. So our employee here, Charlie Watts, our one and only employee. We go payroll details, wages, and here you can see these are all the different pay categories. Some of it's selected, some of it isn't. The stuff that's selected is the stuff that will flow through to the pay slip or into the payroll. So we can see here that annual leave pay is there, but leave loading, annual leave loading is not. So let's have a look at the settings there. And we can see annual leave loading is, a, is the regular rate multiplied by 0.175. That's because leave loading as per most awards in Australia is 17.5% or 0.175 of the rate in addition. So we'll click OK. That all looks good. We'll select it. And now we're going to click OK. We'll close out of here and we'll go process a payroll. All right, so the period we're going to do here is going to be from the 31st of October to the 6th of November to be paid on the 8th of November. Here it is. Let's go have a look. All right, so we can see here we got the base hours 38. Now let's say that Charlie worked three days and had two days annual leave. So annual leave would be 15.2 hours because the 38 hour week is based on 7.6 hours a day. So two days at 7.6 hours is 15.2 hours. And three days is therefore the balance which is 22.8 hours. And you add these up and it comes to 38. Now this warning has just popped up here saying that we haven't got enough accrued hours to pay the annual leave and it's projecting a negative balance. Normally I wouldn't allow a balance to go into the negative but for the sake of the example, we're going to ignore that. So we've got 15.2 hours annual leave. Now we need to put in the annual leave loading which will also be 15.2. And if we work out this 9310 here, 9310 divided by the 532 of the annual leave pay should equal 17.5%. There we go, spot on. Now not everyone is eligible for annual leave loading. You have to be on an award and the award has to say, or any employee agreement has to say that you're eligible for leave loading. It is more of an older, old fashioned measure. A lot of awards still have it, but it's also a lot more common these days to not have it. So not everyone will get that. But now you can see we got 22.8 hours worked base alley. You've got annual leave 15.2 and leave loading 15.2 for an extra $93 of the 17.5%. And if we scroll down, you can see we got the annual leave accrual for the week and the personal leave accrual, which is your sick leave. And there we have it. That's pretty much it, guys. Pretty simple. You just got to set it up in the payroll settings in the card list file and then enter it when you do your pay run. And that's that. So if you're interested in uh, having a look at some other payroll videos that we've done, we've done a bunch of other videos on how to do little things in Myob, a lot of payroll stuff, leave, uh, new starters, timesheets. If you're interested in any of that stuff, go have a look at our, our channel and our, our video list and you'll see a bunch of stuff there that may be of interest. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in our description. We are a training organization. We specialize in accounting software, amongst other things. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again.